So Hawkeye, you and Black Widow, Budapest, what happened over there, huh? Hey, what's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here doing another Marvel Legends figure review on the Avengers Age of Ultron Movie Infinite Series Amazon exclusive 4 pack set. This set includes Thor, Black Widow, Bruce Banner, and Marvel's Hawkeye. I do like that we get the Avengers initiative right over there at the very bottom, and then on the side right over here you get this image in red and you see all four characters, but of course Bruce Banner's in his Hulk form over there. And then on the back of the packaging, you can see there's a read up on Black Widow, if you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. And then on the other side of the packaging you can see the same red image right over there. Alright, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's the Black Widow figure out of the packaging. And to be straight up with you guys, I don't like this figure so much. My least favorite figure from this four pack set. We do get kit bash parts from the Winter Soldier Black Widow figure and the Maria Hill figure. And it just doesn't work out. I just don't like it. It makes it harder for her to pose. Uh, I, I'm not even happy with the pose I gave this figure over here. I don't remember her looking like that in any particular scene in the movie. But it's one of the cooler poses I could think of. So bam, there you go. Uh, I think the paint on her face came out a little bit weird. So anyway, let's take a closer look at the accessories that come with this, and then we'll take a closer look at Black Widow. So I think the batons came out looking cool. It would be nice if the figure came with some guns, but these do look all right. I like the blue paint fading right over here from the black, so I think that's pretty nice. The thing that bothers me, though, is that she does not hold them very well. You can get her to hold them, but you have to balance them, and you can see her holding it just fine right there, of course, for this review, and getting this one in this hand, but they are pretty loose. So that one fell out and, and that right hand's got a good grip, all right. So they use the same exact head sculpt that they had used on the Winter Soldier Black Widow figure. And then here's your comparison from the two of them. I think the flesh tone on this one is actually a little bit more accurate. This one does seem a little bit more tanned, but I do think the paint on the face just looks so much better than this one right over here. I mean, the eyebrows look better on this one, the lipstick and everything. This one kind of has that Miranda Sings vibe to it, you know what I'm talking about? I don't know, it may just be me, but I see Miranda Sings with this figure. Anyway, the hair is painted very nicely though. I really like that we get a little bit more black paint right there and the creases around the hair. So that looks good. It really makes the sculpt stick out even though we get this weird little thing going on right there. Now the blue paint around the suit, can't say it's a letdown at all. That looks pretty damn good to me. Yeah, I can't complain about that one bit. That looks really good. Very solid blue paint. You didn't get it in the hinges, but that's okay. Some red paint right over here. Her little stingers look really nice. Get some added silver bits right over there. I like that. Same thing with this side. And looking at the torso, you can see that's where they swapped the Maria Hill pieces from the original Black Widow, which I like a lot more. I think this works out just better. It looks nicer to me. Plus, because it has all this texture around it, and then the texture disappears right over here. Then this attaches to her hips and everything. We get the Black Widow logo, and we get some nice buckles and straps, and the nice blue paint. It does get a little bit fuzzy right there, but it still looks all right to me. And I can't complain about the blue paint at all on this. It still has the peg holes at the bottom of the feet. And looking at the back of the figure, yeah, it's looking pretty good back there. I don't know how much more I like it than this one, but this is looking pretty good. I don't know, which one do you like more? Eh? Eh? Left? Right. Left? Right, yeah, they both look pretty good. So looking at articulation, a little disappointing with this figure. She can look up though, so that's pretty good. And she does look down very far. You do get the side to side movement, but she always has to kind of look up because she has this collar piece right there. And a little bit of head pivot. Now you get shoulders that move outward, they can move forward, and you do get elbows that bend in, they swivel. And then you get a swivel right here at the wrist, no hinge at the wrist. And then here at the diaphragm joint, oh man. All right, so you can just shift it side to side like that, and even that's kind of stiff. No forward crunch at all and no diaphragm. This one over here, you got a crunch and it moved back too and you got some diaphragm pivot there. So yeah, that's disappointing for me. Uh, the hips can move outward that much. She can kick forward that much, move back, upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, angles move down, up, and she has this kind of weird ankle pivot. So this Black Widow figure is standing just a little over six inches tall. And then again, here she is compared to her first version of the Winter Soldier Marvel Legends Black Widow. And then we have the Marvel Select Age of Ultron Black Widow. And then here she is compared to some other Age of Ultron Marvel Legends 
Legends figures. And then here she is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Hey, so what's with those baton things, huh? What, when Hulk's not around, get a little lonely, maybe, ow, 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 oh no, no! So again, I don't really like this figure so much. People that missed out on the Winter Soldier Black Widow will be very happy to have this version. I definitely would not put this in the Big Time Letdown category. I think the paint apps came out pretty good. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes over here for more shark in your face. Want to be a patron? Check the link below. Also, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and go to MarvelousNews.com for a photo gallery of images from this review. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. And her flesh don't...